Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first getting the e-commerce setting panel after that we are going to work on the e-commerce website as well. So we will continue to working on the product attributes module and in this video we are going to insert these product attributes but before that we are going to add some validations. Okay, so in the last video we have seen that we able to show the attributes here in uh, after we can able to submit the attributes. Okay. Uh, so now we are going to insert these attributes here but before that we are going to make sure uh, some conditions uh, must be met okay must be uh, there must be no issue uh, so so some uh, some conditions are there uh, that uh, we need to see here uh, so i am going to create the one uh, okay so i am going to add this uh, this condition here only uh, like first condition is like all uh, all sku must be unique okay so sku must be unique uh, so if sku already exists then we will return error message return with error message okay so this condition must be we must be follow this condition okay and the same condition is if same size already exists okay if same size already exists then again we need to uh sorry edit uh, added uh, all uh, if same size already exists for the product for the product then we will return with error message okay First, we need to check these two conditions before inserting the product attributes into into the product attributes table okay so uh, let's uh, start working on this one so we are going to create the for each loop here first of all we are going to create here the for each loop and in this loop uh, you can see uh, we are going to pick uh, like dollar data sku we can pick this one or we can pick this size okay i'm going to pick the sku here dollar data sku uh, as fine it is and here uh, we are going to uh, see first check that uh, its value value must be coming value must not be empty dollar value and value must not be empty okay so here the first condition is sku already exists check Here we are going to check whether the SQ already exists or not. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add here count SQ. Here products attribute. Go to match with where SQ must be matching with this value. And we are going to count this one and if uh, count sku is greater than zero it means it already exists and then we are going to return the error message okay we are going to return the error message this one sku already exists please add another sku okay so sku is the stock keeping unit that must be unique always okay return redirect back with this message on the message fine There is one more check uh, and that is uh, we are going to check now uh, that size already exists check okay size must not exist not already exist for that attribute okay for that product size already exists check so here we are going to uh, check for the size count size okay product attribute once again and here where 
uh, here also we are going to uh, check for the ID as well see stock uh, must be uniquely identified in all the records but this one see uh, see many products can have this small size so this one we will check also check the product ID okay here because we are checking for that particular product product ID dollar ID and then we are going to check for its size size must be equal to dollar data size then sq uh, okay so here dollar uh, key like this count so again once again if count is greater than zero then we are going to return the admin with the error message okay so here again once again count side is if it is greater than zero count side and then we are going to add the message uh, going to return this message size or it is please add another size okay this one so after this if, if if everything is fine then we are going to uh, add the attribute okay then finally if everything is fine then we are going to add the attribute new product attribute and here attribute product id like this and root SKU SKU is dollar value that is coming in for each loop and after that attribute uh, side side we are getting in for each loop uh, size dollar key and price then stop attribute status one and finally attribute save fine now we are going to check okay so first check we are going to see here uh, like uh, I'm going to check here that uh, this uh, product uh, this is the product ID uh, which one I'm going to check here product ID uh, is uh, no product ID this one is the new product so so we are going to add this product so let's see so it, it it's going to add because this is the new product so I'm going to remove uh, this one this one is removed now this product must get added so let's see command shift R in Mac Control shift r in windows and see some error message has come here okay so we are going to check what error message here so this one okay remove this one again command shift r in mac continue and oh we forgot to add this product attribute at the top so we are going to add this one as as well so i'm going to add this one here after this one here i'm going to add use app models uh, like this okay so now i'm going to once again command shift r and again an another error message column product id cannot be null so it not able to find the product id here so i'm going to see why it not able to find the product id uh, here i'm going to check out uh, that product id uh, must be this one uh, okay so uh, this product id uh we need to bring it down so that uh, it can able to we can able to get the product id okay so i'm going to bring it down uh, i will bring it uh, after product images so that we will get the product id here we you, you can see that in case of id if id is empty then we able to fetch this product id after saving the product and in case of else we are getting like this okay so after inserting the product images and then we are going to sort product images after that we are going to uh, work on these attributes here okay now it must work fine but i think we already added the product uh, so maybe we are required to 
remove that product here I'm going to check that uh, we have not added any attribute so far but I think uh, we have added uh, the product details maybe I'm going to check here that product is added uh, yes red casual t-shirt product is added I'm going to remove this product okay so fine it has been removed and I'm going to make it auto increment 14 so I will once again will do okay so I will here go back to the add edit product form and here the data is already filled okay I will try to insert it okay so let's see I'm going to click on submit and again the same issue is coming I need to debug the code to find that why this issue is coming column product ID cannot be null okay again the same error is coming here and we are not able to insert any of the attribute and uh, so I need to check that why this error is coming uh, product ID is here so uh, this one product ID so okay so error is coming because here we are using the ID we need to use here the product ID okay so here as well we need to use the product ID here as well so now I hope that uh, this must work fine so let's see uh, I'm going to use the uh, I think we need to delete uh, that uh, products that row last row once again delete it okay uh, see later on in the series we are going to add the DB uh, DB begin transition and commit uh, because that we are using uh, so that such things will not happen uh, that we have done earlier as well so that half query will not run so that this will it will roll back automatically we are not we are not required to do this operation okay uh, like we are doing right now so that thing also we are going to do so now once again i will go back and will try to insert the product and this time i hope that this product will get added with all these three attributes okay so i'm going to add the attributes once uh, once again i think it uh, removes those attributes okay medium large uh, and i'm going to add this one okay here medium here large and here price 1200 then 1400 price then stock any stock you can add here 50 okay so i'm going to click on submit and we'll see now see no error comes this time and i hope that the product attributes have been added yes product attributes have been added for the product id you can see the product id this time is the 14 and the sizes are small medium and large and every side is having the uh, unique sku stock keeping unit uh, okay so that are having the, the different prices prices keep on increasing uh, with the size okay and the stock different stock okay all is having the separate stock so we able to add the product attributes so in the next video we are going to show these product attributes like we have added this product attribute for this 14th product okay so we are going to show these attributes here so that we can able to update as well as delete them and also we can make them active or inactive so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye